Good morning. <coughs> We're back here again now this morning and uh, I'm just going to do a little cattle move. As I was saying in the last video now, I'm kind of in a tightening phase trying to catch up on where I should be or where I want to be and trying to extend my rotation uh, to try and get a bit of uh, time to recover the rest of the land. So I have them in kind of smallish areas but there's plenty of stuff on them. Let me just go in here now. So basically there's the fence and the fence is over there again about 35 yards. I actually paced it out yesterday. It's 35 yards square which is a quarter of an acre is it? I don't know. But it did them, but there was lots of grass on it. And the little laneway I made up to give them access to the river. So they've been on this now for 24 hours. They give it out to me now. They, they would have rather in a bit more space. But they're not hungry, just uh, spoiled. So uh, we can see what's left here now. There's a lot of grass left, which is ideal. And there's a lot of grass they're coming into. I'll just show it to you now. Now the reason why I can get away with tightening these cows on smaller areas is because just say for instance now if I had these on an acre of ground of four inch grass they'd fairly eat it quick and it'd be gone. So if I had them on a quarter of an acre of foot and a half long grass yeah it's not as uh, top quality as the four inch grass but when you're eating meat and two veg the veg isn't as good as the meat is it so they're getting their meat and two veg in there so uh, and it just means that I can have an acre's worth of grass on a quarter of an acre so if you're farming 30 acres and you've got that amount of grass on it. Well, then you're farming 90 acres, haven't you? But here's another thing as well. Something's missing from that lady there. She knocked the horn of herself. So anyhow, let me uh, open this fence because I'm a little bit excited. I'll try and do this one-handed again. Turn it this way. Turn it this way. And walk in. Come on. I'll pick that. <coughs> I have a bit of a cold myself now with this wild. <coughs> oh Lord, God help us. Now come on. Come on, Bucky. So now they're quiet. Now we have our lady on the wrong side of that fence. By right now she should have come in. That lane is still open. She'll find her way. She needs to go back up there to the gate where the car is. And in and around. There's kind of two lanes. Yeah. So that's the situation anyhow, yeah, so we've got lots of grass in here. They've ate that down as tight as they ever would. And as I said before, if that's washed now with the rain and bleached by the sun, the smell of themselves would be gone off it and they'd eat it again if it never grew back again come December. So I'm pleased enough with that and I'm glad to give it a good old eating. Um, because I want to catch up on my days, which I... I am. So they're going to be in here now for another 24 hours and then we move them across the way, do the same here. So it's been three days on this, on this uh, run here, so there'll be three more days there. So I'm going to get nine days, 12 days out of this field here, 12 days out of four acres. Yeah, I think that's it. Last April now when I had, when the grass is growing really fast, I'd have given them this full length here. 
in uh, in one day and they would have just literally tipped it and then they moved them on so now that the grass is growing that little bit slower I'm moving them or I'm tightening them that little bit more so uh, if you follow the grass growth rate you should always have something green in front of you all year round look at that's the theory and that's the way I'm going to try and uh, do it so we're the 28th of September we're not just October yet um, for some reason in my head I'm uh, looking forward to the 1st of October I can really kind of justify what I'm at I suppose in the Titan away oh there's our good friend back we have a heron over there in the rushes she's hiding She's putting her head down. If I walk over now, she's going to lift. So, she was down two fields down that way. So that proves to me that she is following the cattle. She's in there now and she's watching me. So she's going to follow the cattle around now for the whole layer. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So she's back. Brilliant. Okay, well look, that's the story for now. I have to go and drop another girl to work. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so look, we'll talk again very soon. Um, so yeah, I'll say for now, good luck and goodbye.